Hello, this is Malin, Miss Kitten Heart, as I am known all over the internet. Um, I have been gone for ages and ages, but uh, here I am back again with a thriftage haul. And uh, I hope to plan uh, more. Uh, Tory kind of video in the future because I have um, done some changes in my kitchen but uh, oh and 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 I think I have an a video an uh, old uh, thrift find uh, video uh, which I never posted I don't know if I finished edit it but I will post it um, soon. So it's this video today and uh, there will be another new video and possibly uh, an old video. But uh, yes, a thrift find first. Actually, it's hard to see, but I bought this last week on Facebook. It's just a fluffy knitted sweater and uh, I wanted a fluffy knitted sweater so I'm very happy with that um, so here we go um, I'm turning you around and and I am coming around my table Yeah, that's a stool I'm just moving. This is actually one, this pile is from, uh, I went to the tip, uh, the recycle uh, place uh, with some, with a whole lot of garbage yesterday. They also have a uh, room for uh, things that you actually get to, you can put things that are in good condition and you get to keep things you find there. So I found a pile of stuff from there. And then on my way home, I went to a thrift shop uh, and they have loads and loads and loads of stuff there both thrift shop stuff and antique shop stuff and uh, yeah, I found a few things the only thing I actually was looking for was this um, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the rest of it too Oh, and I have allergies. I am allergic to my cats, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, also, I thought I'd show some of my latest thrift finds, the ones I have closest by um, from last week and the week before. But... Uh, First, yesterday's. I love old books. And this was gorgeous. Just the attention to details on old books. And this is very classic. It's P.G. Woodhouse. I haven't actually read any of his books. I have three in my shelves in my library now, uh, so I say it's time to read P.G. Wodehouse. Then I got this plate, which I was really happy about. I don't know what to do with it, but I think it was so pretty. And then I discovered 
you see it's a hole right there in the middle and I found this crack so whatever I use it for I will have to be careful so I don't break it even more then I got this mug and I thought it was so cute with the hipster cats and it has some writing which is pretty corny uh, it says I am not only attractive I am the best too so that is really really corny but the cats are fantastic also I found these um, flower pots I am always looking for, fl for flower pots and these are county flowers in Sweden landscape flowers what in some countries are called counties or states in Sweden they are called landscapes has nothing to do with landscaping and this round one is from the landscape where I am living and I do prefer terracotta for most of my plants for my succulents and cacti I prefer terracotta and for my other plants like my um, Peperomia, yeah, Peperomia. Um, I have a brass pot set, and in the background you can see an elephant pot, which I have decoupaged. But I prefer brass and uh, clay. So these, I would plant some little, some small tiny plants in. And I've been wanting some larger vases lately, uh, both for uh, styling purposes and uh, to actually put flowers in. The ones I have weren't the sizes I thought I needed. And I am Moving over here, I found this L with three hooks and it's not for me but I think I have maybe sisters who will enjoy herself an owl. These two on the other hand something I wish for in the summer you put it behind your plants to shield them for, uh, from the Sun I have found two in really really good condition so uh, the worst Sun is uh, over we have very much autumn here but there will be more summers so I will use these and hopefully I will find a couple more too. And away with this then from the thrift store I have a little collection of these uh, horseshoe, plastic horseshoe uh, tourist souvenir things and this shield in the middle is also the shield for the county or landscape where I live 
It's called Jämtland. I thought that was nice. I also have one there with a deer and I have one in my hallway as well. And then I found this beautiful wooden frame. It is it is fantastic. And I got this as well. Also in one of these beautiful wooden frames. And a sunflower petty point um, stitching. Needle point stitching, and uh, I think it's really pretty. I'm not sure I will keep the the needle point, but uh, on the other hand, I do love floral arrangement uh, art. So I will hang it on the wall, and then I'll see if it will, it will stay like this, or if I will uh, maybe do something myself. I don't know. I got more mugs. I actually collect mugs. The quirker, the stranger, the better. I actually have one of these already, but uh, the one I have um, has words in the bottom, and this has been used a lot, so the words are all gone. So a booby mug and then this is actually the one I had my breakfast tea in it is really big which I like it's big in the perfect kind of big way and I think it's actually kind of pretty it's not strange and odd and weird or funny or but it's really pretty And then the thing I actually wanted, a whisk, my old whisk, broke uh, this thin metal wire actually snapped in two with my old whisk. So now I have a new one. I hope I will like using it. And as I said, I've been feeling like I need more vases. And this is, I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's a little bit bigger than the glass one. So for bigger bouquets. And I do love blue and green. My kitchen is blue and green. So anything blue and green is extra pretty in my house. I have blue and green in several rooms. So it will it would it will look good pretty much everywhere. So that was my thrift finds. And then I thought as I said I'm going to show you some of my latest finds before these because just looking at them they look really really not that fantastic and not that fun look pretty boring actually but I like them I'm happy with the with the flower pots and the mugs and the vases and I like my finds even though they look boring but these are some of my latest finds Another pot, uh, flower pot. I love mushrooms. This is actually some kind of souvenir pot. 
from Trondheim, uh, Trondheim in Norway. But I will use it like this, and you will never know that this has writing on, in the back. This one is a pretty small lidded bowl. I think it's from the 40s. And I think it's really, really pretty. You can hold little surprises inside. And then I got this little incense holder in the shape of an oil lamp. It's so pretty. It's just one of these quirky, fun things that brighten up any space. And with my incense, uh, this little metal Thing it for, uh, came with it and it fits just perfectly like it's made for it. This book I just finished reading it's called Celebrities and uh, Tasties sort of. It's from the beginning of the 50s and it's a Swedish artist called Einar Nerman who met and drew tons and tons of celebrities in the beginning of the last century. Like Mickey Rooney, I'm sure you know of. Greta Garbo. Signe Hasso, that she's Swedish too. Lady Mendel, that's uh, Elsie de Wolf. Fred Astaire. So he... Gregory Peck, very handsome. So he drew all these famous celebrities. Uh, and then he talks about meeting them and uh, uh, what kind of food they liked. And then there are, that's Cary Grant, uh, recipes from each person, each celebrity, uh, which his wife then um, uh, wrote up and I'm sure she tested them and everything. But I have actually found several of these re rec recipes that I want to try. Some sounds absolutely bonkers, but some sounds like really, really, really good. So that's a, an amazing book, actually, I think. Then over here, I got these wooden boxes too. And boxes and such are things that I love because like this one. That's a pretty wooden box. Oh, there's a mess inside, but you will never know because it's a pretty box. So that uh, was what I have to sh had to share for my first thrift haul in ages. And as I said in the beginning, I will be back a lot sooner this time, um, hopefully next week. And um, thank you so much for watching and for waiting for me. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>